Hey everybody, I'm going to do a different kind of video tonight. Look, I'm hand holding the task cam. See, we can talk into either end and have stereo. I'm getting poked because um, I'll explain that later. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to show you Joanne's studio and see what she's up to tonight because she uses this. I got her this new rising table down here. You can set it at whatever height you want. It's like a stand-up desk type thing. So she's got the same setup that I have. She's got the Tascam microphone over there. See? Two Tascam mics. One over there and one right here. And um, she's got the same version of my camera over there. Actually, I just got this one as a backup. And to use, we can make videos at the very same time. But let's peek in and see what she's up to. This is also for DIY and crafts, not just any kind of video. So she has made tell us what you made babe and how you went about it this is for maria and there's a cross on it it's mandala the thing art rainbow uh this one i followed miranda petrone's design this one is from Kristen Ulrich. I really like that one. Green Therapy. Can you hold that one up again? Everybody, what does that remind you of? It looks like a turtle shell. A little bit. But you did a particularly nice job on that. This is my first mandala. Mandala is really just with different sizes and different colors and you can use any tool if you don't have dotting tools you can use this as your dotting tool any round pencil anything but I bought from Amazon different kinds of dotting tools so I'm doing this big one. What's it gonna be, babe? It's going to be a blue flower. Uh, it's Miranda Petrona's design. I'm just looking at it. And I sketch a flower. I'll show everybody what you're looking to make there. She's got her laptop here, too. This is quite a setup she's got everything she needs here in her craft and ASMR video studio. I don't even come in here, guys. I don't even come in because I don't want to intrude on the artist at work, but I told her I thought it would be relaxing if we took a peek at her working on this new hobby art creation she's doing so which is this. dotting yes i'm taking this too and dubbing it see and you put a little bit more than you need and then you dot away i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here so they can see what you're working on there, how you're doing it. See, she's, she's putting the dots. She has a bunch of different size tools she can use to make various different size dots. She, she dotted so it becomes a triangle. So I will do the same thing. And now she did it lighter, so we'll do that 
two, so I just dip it. How many colors? Like she did three shades of blue, and I will do that too. Like a triangle. Oh, there I see. See, and she filled the a uh, half of the leaf. She said blue flower something. Hmm. You'll have looks like one, two, three, four, five, six colors all together, or is it five? I see green. Are you gonna put any of your own design elements like say something around the black rim of that rock. I was thinking of putting gold on the rim. Mm -hmm. Like this one, when I made this one, um, it the stone is quite big. So I only follow the design until the yellow dots mm -hmm. and then I made my own design. Mm -hmm. uh, Everybody where the rocks came from. Oh, this one's I took from our yard. She stole it from our yard. Stole it, guys, from the I yard. Can you steal something? Yeah. How do you steal something from? Well, let's just say it was mis misplaced from where it was supposed to be into here, but it's supposed to be for weeds. But, so I, where did you get that giant rock? The giant one we got from a near a lighthouse here at the coast. We found a source of rocks by the ocean with all Are different... you showing this, babe? Yes, it's, it's visible. I'll zoom in a little bit to show them how you're working on the design. Yeah. She's dotting that there. So that's the design. I have to dot the leaves too, but I will make them quite small. So let's look for a small one. This is a small one. Very cute, I think. Let's see. Maybe this one? Or it should be light one. A light one. When <coughs> many uh, who does mandala art does it to relax them, uh, usually they are already artists. And they want to be relaxed but I'm not an artist so I just do it because it's a challenge challenge but she's becoming an artist she's turning into an artist I am creative though she loves to do with her hands she loves to work with her hands and make new things that she hasn't tried before. I love to do like recycling things, making ugly things into beautiful ones. So I love creating. We just have to be careful not to make beautiful things into ugly ones and then we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Michael always thinks, oh, don't do that, it would be tacky, he would say. And I would say, oh, be patient and wait before you say it's ugly. So, you have to, you don't need to sketch if you don't want to, but 
if you're not an artist, it's better to sketch and especially if you're doing this to relax so there's no pressure for it to be perfect yeah, I would think that um, if you don't sketch it it would be really easy to make a, f a mistake that would be very difficult to fix, I would think you can use wipes to fix it or you can um, paint is, on it. Is this water base? Yes, that's why we need varnish afterwards. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but if you want to make it perfect, uh, it's easy. She'll eventually cover this in a varathane type finish that exterior and yes. then it can go out into the yard. Yeah. And Michael calls it that I'm cutting corners but I also use blow dryer but then yesterday babe I saw Miranda use a blow dryer too. Mm -hmm. So as you so you, now you know it's not cutting corners, babe. Yes, well I know it's a way to accelerate the drying process. But um, Especially if you use mandala to relax yourself. You don't want to wait, you just want to continue and create. Hmm. It looks like a very relaxing... Uh, I'm going to start doing some art type projects in the coming year or two myself once we get all settled into one house. We're still working on that. It will be a few months before we consolidate and just have one house to stay. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be less busy and I can do art also. <laughs> less busy with non-artistic things. Yeah. These would probably make a good gift for someone too if you don't have to ship it in the mail. It's way too heavy to ship it. Unless you get those uh, flat rate boxes, guys, then they don't uh, weigh it. You sure there's no weight limit on a flat rate box? Remember when you sent, when we sent, babe, to your kids and your dad, they didn't weigh. But I didn't fill it with lead or anything like that. A Rachel's box was very heavy, babe. Uh, Because of the bowl. You're doing a very nice job. While she's working on that, I'll just show you if I can do it, everybody. I will show you all of her tools over here. She's got all these different kinds of paint dabbing tools that are different sizes, like there's a big giant ball on that one, and then there's of course really tiny ones, tiny little ball, so she can make whatever size dot she wants, and she's got all these different colors to use. She's got hand sanitizer here because she's OCD about germs and cleanliness. It can drive me crazy, guys, but it's better than the opposite, isn't it? You wouldn't want somebody who's... What does she call me? She says, You filthy man! You didn't sanitize after you took your shoes off when you came in the door. Don't you say that, huh, babe? Yeah, yeah she does. She says... 
Did I see you use a Kleenex and not wash your hands for 15 minutes with soap and water afterwards? 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. A slight exaggeration. She's got some driftwood down here on the floor for future projects. More paint things. Where's the driftwood? There it is. The blow dryer's down there. Computer reference handy. And um, if you like crinkling, guys, I'm putting the uh, tripod accidentally into the plastic bag. So yeah. we'll set this down. I have a plastic, um, what do you call that, glass, so that I put the darting tool in it. So it doesn't become hard, guys. And then it's easy to, to dry on the paper. So. It's a good strategy, I think. Yeah. And what will you do next? I will do the bigger one. Bigger one, this one. And just do like that bit. Wow. For the whole thing. You'll do all the interior part first before the between I, the petals? I or? can do in between so you can see how it will look in the end. Hmm. I can do in between of this one. Uh, so I get a very tiny one. That's not going to mess up your um, paint scheme at all. Uh, I will use uh, it's a green one. The green one. Yeah. I have to show you again, guys, because I just really like this one. I'm going to show you up close. Didn't she do a nice job on that one? It has a 3D effect, I think. Sort of a 3D effect. I'm going to uh, gently tap it on the microphone ear to ear and see if you guys detect this sound that's a very 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 light tapping on one side now we'll go to the other side I'm just barely touching it to the mandala I'll rub it a little bit in a circle and then switch to the other side Some are going to like that sound, and some are going to say, don't do that. So, I will experiment with various sounds in the future, but not so much today, because we're going to see what she's doing now to fill in some of the outside of this pattern. And... Um, Yeah, I don't know if anyone else has finished their Christmas shopping, but I think we wrapped everything. Yes, babe? Yes. Have you wrapped all your gifts? I think. Yeah, that's good. We made it an agreement that we would only get each other, <laughs> like, one gift, and so... We're within about five gifts of that limit, I think. So we did okay. Except Last year, uh, we got a lot of great gifts for each other and our girls. And then Michael said, don't do it this year. But I think just because he said it, then I got more. She's very rebellious, guys. So rebellious. I'm not sure if it's because 
of that, do you think, babe? Yes, because you're rebellious. Oh. Even, even my hat agrees. See? It agrees that you're rebellious. Whatever I tell her, she does the opposite. So when I win something, I just say the opposite. I say, absolutely, you're not allowed to make me breakfast. And that way I know I'll get a nice breakfast soon, you know. So, if only it would work for everything, but you know. It, uh, ha have you tried saying that to me, babe? Not that particular one, but um, I do know that your tendency is to resist. Resist what anyone's trying to get you to do, unless they ask you nice. If somebody asks you nice, then you're very, very agreeable and generous normally. So she just doesn't want to be uh, controlled, let's say, has a little trouble with anyone trying to be controlling. No, I think that's because I'm the youngest. Yes. So her atas, which are the older sisters, yeah, they were trying to tell what to do all the time, right? So. Yes. You have to resist a little bit. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up and I'm going to tell them. Can you tell my subbies the direction I always give them? Don't ASMR and drive. That's the one. Thank you, babe. Bye bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. And Joanne reminds me that I always forget to promote her channel which is Scorpio and YT. I'll try to remember to put it, I'll try hard to remember to put it down below in the description or someplace. Until then, we'll just relax with this Mandela. Bye bye everyone. Give my subbies a kiss. Thanks for watching.